Wait, don't exit the video. The topic doesn't only affect the people who want to fully encrypt their hard drives, but everyone who cares about their privacy while using computers in the first place. We all have a lot of stuff on our hard drives. It is our constitutional right to keep that stuff to ourselves, right? Well, not really. With your respective country's court approval, authorities can take your drives and freely thro snoop through them. Even if you quote-unquote have nothing to hide, which is total BS, the bare idea of any random agent being able to lay their hands on your precious data sounds horrid enough for me to take serious precautions. Here is where encryption comes in. By encrypting your data correctly, you effectively zero out any chances of law enforcement being able to access your stuff without your password. If you live in any civilized countries, you cannot be forced to give out your password in any way, since torture is not an option. If not, please move as soon as possible. Back to our topic, here is where stuff takes a turn for the worse. At the time being, there isn't a lot of well-maintained software able to reliably encrypt hard drives. One option is Veracrypt, a free and open source TrueCrypt successor that has a massive community behind it. If it sounds promising, you'll quickly learn how flawed it is and how toxic the whole scene behind it is. So watch the whole video before making an informed decision. The other option is BitLocker by Microsoft, a proprietary utility locked behind professional and enterprise Windows builds. It is generally criticized by most people because of its closed off nature. Most people say that it quote unquote has a backdoor to it and it cannot be trusted. Verocrypt sounds like a no-brainer, right? Open source has been around for years, it's stable and supports full drive encryption. What better could you get? Well, I found out the hard way. The main thing I noticed was how slow the encryption process was. It took me days to process my hard drive, where I couldn't do any file operations or even read the files inside. My computer was basically held hostage by the encryption algorithms, which I'm not criticizing. People say it encrypts files more efficiently and effectively, that's why it's taking so long. So I just waited it out. Once the encryption was done, I was held aback by how slow my drive was. I knew it wasn't a hardware issue, the drive is a solid state drive, my CPU is more powerful than half the Greek government servers and everything was snappy before. At that point, I did a speed test on my SSD and compared it to the same drive with no encryption applied to it whatsoever. As you see, the difference is absolutely massive. I rushed to the internet and started googling. Some people were saying that speed tests were not representing of real-world usage because of Veracrypt's encryption method. I began doubting that pretty quickly when I tried to boot a Windows 10 VM to produce a video. While I was googling the issue, I found a GitHub issue thread discussing this problem. Surely enough, I wasn't the only one reporting extremely slow speeds. Turns out that was an issue for more than 7 years already. People in there were arguing extensively for this, begging the developer to make it work. The outcome? Absolutely nothing. This is where I will get on some people's nerves, but hear me out. Just because you release something that's free and open source, doesn't mean you have no liability over it. People often use the fact that quote-unquote it is their project and they can do whatever they want with it as an excuse to push real-world issues under the carpet. As a developer myself, I can say that some issues are harder and sometimes more psychologically pressuring to fix than making new exciting features or small bug fixes. But when you're receiving donations for your work and maintaining a massive project that's being used by a bunch of enterprises, you need to focus on the problems, no matter how boring they seem. There is no way the developers of Veracrypt didn't notice this GitHub issue for 7 years. It's extremely clear they are just ignoring it, probably because of some flaw in the encryption itself. People are now speculating the project is dead. If that's true, my take is that the repository should be archived and the website should clearly portray that image as well. Many think that it worked, it was just not fully optimized. Which is plain wrong. You cannot think in that way. Like, never. I lost a whole week of my vacations trying to set Veracrypt up. 
without being able to do basic work on my computer and another half a week to decrypt all of my hard drives. I'm sorry, but bottlenecking my computer in order to support an almost dead open source project is just not my thing. People stating that there are no other options are simply wrong. If you're looking for an actually professional way to encrypt your stuff reliably, look no further than looks. It is embedded in Linux and maintained by a bunch of serious people out there who take open source work just as importantly as their actual work. If you still want to stay in Windows, set up a NAS with your favorite software such as TrueNAS and map the partitions you need as network drives. I ended up just using BitLocker. I personally have not done any work to verify the claims against it, but I can't say, using logical speculation, that they're more than likely invalid. The way encryption works, it's tricky to sneak a global key to the encryption process, and more than likely someone would have noticed and already published an exposing article. Myself, I'm saving up to build a NAS, but until then, I'll still be peacefully knowing the data I have is a bit harder to crack than usual. Greek authorities wouldn't even have the resources to crack BitLocker anyways, if a technology like that exists in the first place. What can I say? Perks of living in a third world country that is still in the EU. The takeaway here is don't jump on the hype train. Make informed decisions and don't spend a week and a half of your precious, unrecoverable time for no reason. This was my mistake. I hope you learned something from it. Until the next one, stay safe everyone.